Yikes! Yikes! Hey guys, it's Jade, and today I'm watching Boku no Hero Academia Season 5, Episode 22. And before I get into it, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I post a new video. Now, I am really, really, really nervous for this next episode, and I think the future episodes are like the last couple episodes of the season because the League of Villains are still going against the Liberation Army, and the hope is, is that they can be able to stand their ground until the big puppy arrives looking for Shigaraki. But right now, they are greatly outnumbered, and one of their members are down right now, which is Himiko Toga, because last episode, she put up an amazing fight. She put up a great fight, and she was able to level up her quirk pretty much to the point where she can now use whoever she changes into's quirk. And that is so dangerous because just think about it. It's like Monoma, except Monoma can't change his appearance. But now if she goes against like one of the heroes and be able to change into them and then use their quirk, the only reason she would ever be caught is if she says something wrong that the person would have never said. But the ending of last episode, I am very worried for Twice because Twice found Himiko Toga, him getting me very emotional because he was crying, like because he's worried about her, saying something like their family. And then, literally, Twice gets attacked by himself. Several of himself. And I hope that everything goes well with him. They seem to want to, like, recruit Twice in a way. But it's, it's scary because uh, he's now seeing both of him. And that's kind of crazy for him. But I hope everything goes well and they can hold their ground until the big puppy comes. But without further ado, let's get into it. Technically, they are you, but they're not you. Just appearance-wise. That's also very scary. But also, it'd be good, because you got, like, those... They look like a certain person you can, like, trick. Don't kill Toga! I don't think Twice would let you. Especially, like, you know, how much he cares. Oh no! Getting a little twice past. I love it. Oh! 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 That's why he like cares so much about family. He was his own army. What the? Just walks around with a paper bag on his head. At least like poke eyes in it, you know? It's interesting seeing like how he got into it. Oh no! Stay strong twice! This is like terrible for him because the whole reason why he starts like splitting is because of him own his own self. I think it's dangerous for him to like mentally break. Cause either he's mentally breaking himself or just gonna put it out on all of you guys. Let's go twice! You tell him! I'm nervous. Oh. Yes. Let's do it. Woo. Yikes. Yikes. Yo. Sadness parade. Mm -hmm. 
Let's go, Dobby. My goodness. <laughs> oh, look at them. Are they dancing? So many of them. <laughs> I swear I thought I saw one like throw tomatoes. like twice in a group like that if everything was too down it'd be like I feel like freedom for different people it just like varies oh no oh no <laughs> That's a big height. What the heck? Oh my goodness gracious. I feel like this whole Liberation Army versus the League of Villains is something crazy for the League of Villains specifically because not only did Himiko Toga in the last episode was able to like upgrade her own core to the point where she can now use whoever she changes this into Kirks but now twice isn't even like mentally broken right now he is set and he is able to create so many of himself and he's not afraid of like ripping in half he there's no doubt he's fixed and he is ready to attack and he made a whole freaking army of himself that is probably as equal as how many people are there and that is crazy and i'm so proud of twice honestly it just took like 
a really scary moment of Timmy Kotogo almost dying to get to that point. But you can just tell the lengths that Twice would go to to like just make sure everyone's okay, especially because he's been alone his entire life until he met the League of Villains and now he views them as friends, even as family. So I'm really glad that he was able to really overcome the problems in his head to get to this point. But thinking about like how that would affect the heroes, ooh, ooh, that's a little that's a little scary to think about. It's because now if the League of Villains, well, I keep saying if the League of Villains survive this, but seeing the present time when we are watching the hero side, it seems like somehow the Liberation Army and the League of Villains were able to unite. I'm just curious to see how that happened. I feel like when the new season comes after this, it's just gonna be chaos, and I don't know if I'm ready for that. I don't think I am. Overall, I'm nervous for the next episode because we're gonna see a fight between two bosses of two different groups. Hopefully, Big Puppy arrives around that time before something tragic happens. But he's already on his way. He's already awoken because the doctor's like, you know, it'd be bad if, you know, League of Villains kinda die and All For One would be, like, upset. He said sad, but would he actually be sad? I don't think so. I think he'd just be very frustrated and upset. In the end, I just hope everything goes well for the League of Villains and nothing terrible, terrible happens to them. I'm really rooting for these guys. But that is all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>